Hello and welcome to episode 460, had to check my notes there, 460 of the Daily Sales Message Podcast, where every single day I share a piece of simple and actionable advice that's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff too. And clearly I've got 459 other episodes before this one you can dive into, so if you're having trouble sleeping, there's plenty there for you. Right, in today's episode we're talking about something which I call the ignorance tax, the ignorance tax. What is it? That's a good question. Thanks for asking. Well, the ignorance tax for me is when you don't know what you're doing, you haven't done your homework as a seller, and it costs you dearly when you get into a conversation. So you don't know key pieces of information, so you don't adjust your offer, you don't adjust your approach accordingly. One of the most obvious and simplest examples of the ignorance tax is talking to somebody who is not the decision maker, not the DM, the decision maker, they can't actually buy from you. They have to check with Bob in accounts or Susie, their boss or whoever. So you spend your time wooing this person. They're really into your offering. You talk to them. It's great. It's wonderful. It's all great. And then they tell you that they have to check with their boss. And everything you've done to that point could potentially be lost. You've paid the ignorance tax. You've cost yourself the deal, the situation potentially because you didn't do your homework, you didn't pay attention. There's loads of things like this, but this one in particular, not talking to the decision maker is one of the most common ones. The simplest way to get around this particular one is to remember this simple question. Now, we can't actually come out and say, uh, are you the decision maker? Because it's a bit rude for some people. It sounds, it's the equivalent of saying, is your mum and dad at home? Not great for some people. So the better phrase to use, better question is this. Is there anybody else involved in making this decision? Is there anybody else involved in making this decision? It's pretty much you're saying, are your mum and dad at home? But you're doing it in a polite way. And if they say, no, this is my decision to make, great, we can crack on. If they say, well, yeah, actually, Bob, in account, Susie, my boss, got to speak to them. We need to try and arrange a meeting where we can speak directly to them. If possible, I know it's not always possible, but if possible, we want to do that. So just be wary when you're speaking with potential buyers. Do your due diligence, do your homework, know what you're doing because if you are ignorant to any piece of information you're gonna end up paying the ignorance tax it could cost you the deal it could cost you profit it could cost you all sorts of different things purely because you're in a situation that you don't fully understand at the end of the day it's on you as a salesperson to know exactly who you're selling to where you're at and as much information as possible to put yourself in a position to succeed Right, that's it for it turned out to be a telling off episode in the end, didn't it? That's it for this uh, telling off episode of the Daily Sales Message Podcast. Tomorrow, in episode 461, we're going to be talking about in advertising, pay-per-click advertising in particular, PPC. There's something called cost per click, which people measure. It costs you like 20p for somebody to click an advert and buy from you or whatever. I'm sure it's a lot more expensive than that now. Um, but there's another financial measure that we need to measure. Yeah, I'll just say measure twice in the same sentence. That'll be fine something else we need to measure and it's not just specific to ppc to pay-per-click advertising is relevant if you're selling anything to anyone organic paid doesn't matter there's something you need to be aware of and think about how am i going to cover that in tomorrow's episode thank you for listening or watching all the way to the end to my completely unedited and improvised uh, podcast where i literally just have a couple of words so today's episode was inspired by the words ignorance tax that's literally all the notes i had um so thank you for listening watching all the way to the end i'll catch you tomorrow for hopefully another polished edition of the podcast where we get away with it again Whew.